Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is a party prep for my one-year-old son. He is having um, his first fiesta, so a whole like fiesta theme party. Um, as you can see, I have some of the decorations sitting around me right now, but I thought it would be fun to kind of share um, a mini series on how I prepare for his party. Uh, it's my first time throwing a party for an infant. He's my firstborn, he's turning one. So, and his birthday's right after Cinco de Mayo. So I thought, perfect theme. Um, we're gonna go all out and do fiesta and taco bar and all the things. So I'm gonna share um, what I've purchased um, for his party coming up in a couple weeks. A lot of it's Amazon, Target, you know the drill. Um, so let's get started. All right, so first thing I wanna share are his invites. So before ordering his invites, um, I did some research, I looked on Shutterfly, maybe Snapfish, you know, <laughs> kind of the bigger. Hi! <laughs> My little guy, he's awake right now watching me film, so. You okay? I'll give him a snack in a second. He's behind a baby gate, but I'm gonna be putting him in a bouncer in a second. Anyways, starting off with the invites, I wanted, I had a very specific invite in my head of what I wanted. I basically wanted to customize it, but I looked on Zazzle and Shutterfly and kind of all those big names. I wasn't finding what I was envisioning, so I ended up using Canva, um, which is what I use to create like my thumbnails for YouTube and things like that, but I didn't realize that they did uh, like custom invites but they totally do. And I don't know, I guess I was just clicking around and discovered that, but I ended up creating my own invite um, through Canva and it was really affordable. I will say, I would say it was cheaper than if I were to use Shutterfly or one of those um, other companies and I was able to make exactly what I wanted. Um, I came up with the saying um, one night, I stink at the siesta, let's have a fiesta. Um, here, I just blocked out my address and phone number, but it says, come celebrate Weston's first birthday with our family. Be ready for tacos and lots of fiesta fun. And then up here it says, our little muchacho turns one. And on the back, I was able to um, put it in Spanish also. So I thought that was kind of fun to just add to the theme. Um, it came in really nice quality, really nice quality. I want to say it was around a dollar an invite. Um, with this size, you do have to use two stamps, which is kind of a bummer because it's like an odd shape. But um, I was really happy. It's like this um, really thick, like card paper texture, but it's like, um, you know, I don't know, kind of almost like a matte, velvety feel to it. But um, I'm really happy with the invite. So yay for Canva um, for doing a great job with these. All right, so next, I think what I'm gonna share are um, just the different banners and things that I ordered um, to make my home seem more of like a fun fiesta theme. Um, almost everything, I think everything in this basket here is from Amazon, so I'll quickly go through um, and share what it is. Some I haven't even opened yet myself, but um, so two things to start off from are these Mexican runners. Um, which I thought would be fun to put on the tables, like underneath the food and decor. So let's open, I got two, a 14 by 108 inch. And this one, I actually am not sure the size, but I think it's smaller. So let's show, let's see how this turned out. If you hear my baby, it's because he's next to me and his bouncer right now. He's playing, eating some goldfish, and I'm just in my entry hallway. And thought, all right, this place is as good as any. So anyways. Okay, so, like I said, I hadn't opened these yet, but this is perfect. They weren't too expensive. Um, I wanna say in between 10 and $15. Um, these lights, these were Target in the little dollar section. They weren't a dollar, they were more like $5, but they're these light up, I had to put the batteries in myself, but they're these light up um, cactus lights. So these will be super cute to drape anywhere. I think untangled, they're like five feet long or so. Oh, these also are Target. Two of these llamas, uh, they were like one or three dollars. Um, I think they're a craft that you can paint, but I thought these would be cute just to set 
on a table somewhere, just have it laying around, kind of go with the fiesta theme, two little llamas. Going along with banners. This is Amazon as well. It's these, um, uh, I think Mexican flag, fiesta flag, I don't know. Um, most of the stuff I ordered is just based off reviews, like what people were saying was good quality and price. I didn't want to spend too much, even though I like slowly keep spending and spending and adding things. So I'm like, this is cute, this is cute. So anyway, this will be fabulous. Cute, great. This will be somewhere. If I need to cut it in half, maybe I will and use it in a couple places, but yeah. That's fun, Amazon. I'll do my best to link as much of the stuff below as I can. All right, fabulous. I finally got that untangled. So it says taco bar, and then two little sparkly cactuses on the end. This would be great to just put um, where the food is gonna be. And then with this set, it's actually a huge set. Like a lot of things came with it. The food. Oh yeah, so this guy, I think this was taco bar as well. I think this will be nice because I'm planning on doing a like a taco spread, just like a whole like taco buffet basically, and people can build their own. I want to do like um, queso nachos in one section, and then just the taco toppings and the meat in a couple crock pots with just a whole spread laying out. So this was a part of that same set. It says taco bar, and then inside were all these little signs like hot sauce. Um, lettuce, jalapenos, olives, cheese, you know, just mild salsa, all these different, um, you know, little cards that you can fold. And it did, co did come with a couple blank ones as well. So that'll be nice that I can write on here, maybe queso or guac or whatever's missing from there. All right, so next with Continuing the banner theme is this little guy in here says Fiesta. Oh, there's two. I put one, with, this is really cute, with cactus and hats. Still Amazon. <laughs> cactus and hats. And I used my own string for this because the string it came with was just really um, chintzy. So I just used my own like wool string that I had. This will be fun to, I don't know where I'm putting all this stuff yet, you guys, but. It'll all have a spot. Might look overboard, but hey, we're going all out, it's okay. I was just kind of clicking stuff and buying what I thought was cute and might have a place. This one is super fun, Fiesta. Little cactuses, yep. Lots of banners. Probably went overboard on the banners, but that's okay. All right. So another decor item, which isn't necessarily a banner, but it's these fun um, fans with like Mexican colors, and these will be really fun. So I think just either hang from the ceiling or maybe do a wall, <laughs> or maybe um, tape to a wall with, you know, be really pretty for, um, for photos, I think. These were all taped to a wall, it's super cute. So it came with one, two, three, four, five, six different fans, all different sizes and colors. Um, and they're really nice quality. Like they're like a thick um, paper. So it came in a pack like this, there's a few more, but. I'm not gonna show it's the whole bag because you get the idea. All right, so next, I got him this little Uno sign, which I thought would be cute to put um, maybe on his high chair, where he's gonna be sitting when we do cake and stuff. This little guy just says, oh man, I don't know if I can untangle this right now, but it says Uno. It does say Uno under there, I promise, with two cactus. Oh, there we go. You like your sign? What do you think? It says Uno for you. Turning one. <laughs> so, all right. 
So I do want to do a balloon arch. Um, we'll see with the fans and everything that I have going on, the balloon arch might be too much, but I feel like we're already going overboard, so might as well just continue going overboard. I have a balloon arch already, like a metal one that you um, put the little like rods into and then it stretches out and you attach it to the table or whatever, so I already own that. So what I did, this is really cheap, I just ordered a big party pack of balloons, it's like fun. Um, a lot of these in here are Fiesta colors, so we'll blow these up and I'll do a balloon arch somewhere. Um, this is probably around $10 for the bag. It might have even been cheaper. I don't know, but I thought, okay, that's a cheap way to just kind of add to the party theme. I think that'll be really fun. I'm a sucker for balloon arches. I think they're fabulous, and I'm not very really good at making them. I've done maybe two in my life, but I think they're super fun, and they always look great in the photos. So the next thing is this little set. I'm not really sure what it is other than, so these little paper guys, I think they're either good for photos, like to hold, or you can like stick them in like a cake or a bouquet of flowers or whatnot. Um, so they came with the sticks and the adhesive that you put on yourself with the little guy here. And then at the bottom would be these, um, I have them sitting out, okay, so this, this is what's going on with the stick and the little thing and the little thing. I don't really know why I ordered these. I guess they'll be cute to like lay around on tables. Um, so in here are all these like little fan looking things. But anyway, they're fun. I mean, they're cute. I they don't. I don't know what to call them. They're just kind of tchotchkes. They can lay around. So. All right, so this last party pack, I think I overbought you guys, honestly. I probably have duplicates. I know I have duplicates of a lot of things because I just picked up this bag and I have fans in here too. And these are Uno balloons, like you blow them up with a straw it comes with and they're gonna say Uno. So I know I did want those to put up, but I think Oh, these are cactus balloons. Same thing, you blow them up like with the straw and they're bigger like cactus balloons. So in this set, there was just a lot of random. Oh, another cactus banner. Tropical, it's a tropical garland, but there's definitely cactus in there. So again, I just, I have a lot. But next, I'm gonna share his little um, photo. You'll see what I'm talking about. So I ordered this on Amazon and I haven't strung it together yet and I haven't even finished all the months, but it's a banner where you put all the photos, like one for every month of the year leading up till 12 months old. So this is as far as I've got so far as eight months, but look how cute, look how tiny he was. One month. All right, so next I'm gonna share um, a few other, I should probably just stop categorizing and say, Here's all the stuff I bought. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna share this funny thing. I just picked up at Target. This was also in the dollar section for $5. So it's a cooler in the bottom here. Weston has been loving playing with this, but um, so it's a ring toss cooler. Uh, I need to blow it up more, obviously, because it's like wilting, but I thought this would be fun to put waters or maybe beer, something in the bottom of here with ice and just have it laying out. And if, Kids want to play with it, or people want to toss it, toss rings on it, whatever. It's kind of a funny thing to have sitting out. All right, and next I want to share his pinata that I got um, on Amazon. So it's definitely like a smaller, tiny kid size pinata, but um, it's super cute. I just think it's adorable. Weston probably can't really hit it yet, or at least not knock the candy out of it. I'm sure you can hit it, but um, I'm going to stuff it with candy, and there might be some kids. There's definitely gonna be a couple of kids that show up. How are you doing? Do you need some fish? All right, let me get him some goldfish real quick. All right, I'm back. I had to give Weston some goldfish and I had a sip of my iced coffee. So last night I was watching um, Housewives of New Jersey and 
Margaret was making them all iced coffees and big old wine glasses. And I was like, that looks so delicious and so fabulous and just like elevates the iced coffee experience. So when I went to bed, I was like so excited to wake up the next day and make my iced coffee in a wine glass. So that's what's happening here. I feel so housewifey and fancy. Mm. Tastes better somehow. If you see gross things floating around, it's um, a bunch of cinnamon in there that I have. All right, so next, let's share. Ooh, this little hat, I love it. One, this will be what he'll wear for his party. Probably keep it on for like five seconds, but this was on um, Amazon. I think it was $11. I'll link it below, but super cute. Will you wear this, please? On your party, will you keep this on for your mom for some pictures? He's like, yeah, right, mom. And next, I'm gonna share just kind of the things I'm gonna put on his cake and plates and um, not necessarily utensils. I didn't buy any cool utensils, but that kind of serving type thing. Okay. I got super cute plates. I can't remember if I Amazon or Target these because both, they both sold them, and I can't remember who was cheaper for the plates, but this was a set of 80 nine-inch disposable Fiesta plates, adorable. And then I got really fun, big, like, jumbo straws. We're definitely doing margaritas that day. I'm borrowing a, um, a margarita machine from a friend, so um, I ordered, like, big plastic cups, fun straws. Um, disposable is just easier at this point, you guys. It's like, I know there's gonna be a lot of paper and plastic, but um, I can't sit there and do dishes for four days. I'm gonna have dishes even on top of just having plastic and paper products. There's still gonna be a lot of dishes, so it's just, you know. But these look a little eco-friendly. Um, paper trays. It says paper, but they look cardboard, so. Um, I do want to do like hot queso, so kind of a nacho bar I thought would be fun, a big bowl of chips and a little crock pot of like queso. I thought these would be perfect. I'm gonna be baking um, the cake for his party and the cupcakes. I'm gonna do a bunch of like little mini cupcakes and um, a cake, maybe even a smash cake. Funfetti, um, we have people who are egg free, gluten free, so I'm gonna have a few different things going on, but we got these and then these sticks, I think will be just so cute to add um, that extra little touch to cupcakes. Let's take a look at them. Oh yeah, so cute. And the little toothpicks are already stuck on there, which is perfect. I know, buddy. Do you need some more goldfish? You want some more fish? And then these funny little napkins. I just picked up the other day at Kohl's. Um, hey! Yeah, you want more? Let me get him some more goldfish. All right, guys filming when you're at home during the day with your baby and people come in the door and it's like, no joke. Like eventually this will get done. I have to cut down this video like crazy, but um, oh yeah, so what was I saying? I'm gonna be baking the cupcake, uh, the cupcakes and the cake for this party. Um, so let me show you what I'm gonna put on top of his cake. This is what I have so far. I have this glittery one, and then I have this little Uno sign. Uh, we'll see what else I put on top of it. I'm not sure yet. I do have like, you know, these fun little guys, which maybe I'll stick a few of these in there too. Um, but I purchased fondant. I purchased this whole like cake decorating set off of Amazon. So. I'm gonna go for it. I'll try and film as much as I can. I'm thinking in the next couple days, I need to do like a trial cake run because I've never used fondant. I've, I'm i just kind of winging it. And I wanna make this fabulous like Fiesta themed Uno cake for Weston and for the party. Um, 
so we'll see. So wish me luck. I definitely should practice. I was like, oh, maybe I can wing it the day of or the day before, but I, I should practice before it all happens in a couple weeks here. So that's about it. I mean, the only other thing that I, so I saw this on Pinterest, like someone was saving cannons that were like, you know, you know Mexican cans. <laughs> Um, and cleaning them, and they were putting like uh, utensils in them or just different things um, in the cans. This was a Pinterest that I saw like months ago when I was looking up ideas for this party. So I thought, oh, like anything that has cute, like fun colors on it, and maybe say something in Spanish, I'll save, and maybe I'll put some fun things in there. It'd be even cute with a plant, huh? Maybe I should put like a plant, a little succulent or something in here. I think that would be fun. Be pretty cool. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today's um, Fiesta party prep video. I hope you enjoyed um, just, you know, watching the things that I've purchased and will eventually set up and decorate. I do want to do a little series, like I said, decorating for his party. This will be the first part of a three-part series. We'll say three parts. Definitely want to get some footage of this guy um, turning one and celebrating. Um, so we're excited to have different uh, friends and family here to be with us. And hopefully this inspired you to uh, throw a fun party someday for your little one. Um, so like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Uh, leave comments down below if you have any feedback or questions. And I'll do my best. Um, I'm terrible at linking things, but I will try this time. I'll try my hardest to link as many of the things that you saw today um, down below. So thanks for watching.